Hello and welcome. Today we're not going to do a Tinkercad tutorial. We are going to be doing a Bamboo Studio tutorial. So Bamboo Studio is a slicer software. This is the software that converts your design into information that the 3D printer will understand. So you might get this. I don't like upgrading or updating my software until I've seen online what other people think of it. And maximize the space right there now obviously here you have all the previous projects that that you've done in this case I've done <clears throat> but what I want to do is create a new project so here we go brand new project now very important in my classroom most of the printers are going to be p1p p1s you can keep it on either one of these because they're gonna operate very very similarly so don't worry about it. All of my classrooms uh, beds have the textured P PEI plate, so make sure that's set. For the most part, you don't have to change any of these, but these are options that other printers can have. For me, I like the texture, so leave it there. Um, all of my printers have the 0.4 standard flow. Don't really need to mess with this. Now, sometimes students will accidentally click on these and they they're not supposed to because all of the printer plastic that we use <clears throat> is generic pla okay now this is my home computer so sometimes i'll use what uh i buy from bamboo which is in this case that symbol right there means it came from their company otherwise it would be just generic black okay <clears throat> apparently i bought a lot of these and sometimes i have other family members that use these too but for the most part, in my classroom, this would be generic everything, right? Generic Y, generic, oh, not PTG. It's important that it says PLA in my classroom. So it would be like that. That is how you change the type of plastic. However, in my classroom, always generic PLA. What's important is how you change the color. See, if you want to use red, use red. If you think this one should be yellow, then yellow. That's how it works. Don't worry about any of these. This should always say standard and 2.0. You really don't have to change any of these things here. The only time you have to change something is for supports. This one right here. If your design requires supports, click that and you're good to go. You're good to go. Now let's bring in a something I designed recently, which I honestly, oh, the Flexi Star. I didn't know which one was gonna open. All right, let's see what this says. The current connected printer on Paro 1 is a Bamboo PS1 P1S model. Now, here's the reason it's telling me because it says here that I'm gonna be sending it to the X1 Carbon, which is a different model. It's asking me, hey, to use the printer for this printing, please switch the printer model for the, of the project to a P1S. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I'll switch it now. Great. Now, here's the thing. This is the, the part that really, really matters for a lot of my students. It's the coloring. Now, obviously this is just one color, but, but if I click on this, I get to now use the paint bucket. There it is. <clears throat> no matter what object you're using, the first color that you have on this list will be the default color for your object. Now, if I change this to red, so now my object is red, but that only works with the first one. If you change number two to yellow, well then nothing happens because it's only the first one. However, if I want to color it, we have all these different tools, the circle. Now, if I click on this and I click over here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, a bigger circle. See, it says pen size. See, created that kind of weird but okay it creates polka dots not technically because you can just drag it like this right this here is a sphere it'll color the inside as well so you can't really tell but if you went inside you'd be able to tell that it's colored in there too I now you can color triangles again you can control the size and the section of all these things so there's that I don't use this one too often. In fact, I don't think I've ever used that one. 
This one I use all the time because it does make some things faster, but check this out. This is what it can do. Wow, kind of amazing, but kind of not. However, if you make it a little bit thicker, you can do something like this. And every time the printer goes to that particular color, it'll change it and it'll make that. So see, see how you can, so you can see how you can make a design just by printing or just by coloring it with these different um, tools you have here. Now this one I use quite often. You click here and that whole section is colored. See? And it even outlines where it's going to be printing. So very useful. And this one, I've actually don't, I've never used this. I wonder what it does. Let's find out. No idea. So now how would you, how would I color this thing right here? Cause there's a lot of spaces for me to be coloring with like this one, right? This is what I would do. I would use this one and then maximize this thing. Cause look, I can color it. However, if I wanted it to be just green, what I would do is I'd be like, well, I'm going to change that to green and look what happens. The default is now green and everything else is yellow. So that right there is how I would do that. Now, now that I'm done with this, it's exactly the way I want it to be. I'm going to hit slice. Now let's look at some options here. Slice all, slice plate. Look, you could add more plates to this thing if you wanted to. Let me uh, click away from this right here. Okay. If I wanted to, I could add more of these plates to have different builds. Like over here, they see this picture right here. Okay. Move away. Should go away. Okay. So what I can do is I can have multiple plates. And so when it says, hey, do you want to... You know, start with floating. Always read these things. Always read these things. In this case, I already know I'm aware I'm good. So I sliced it. Now it doesn't look like what I wanted to do, right? It doesn't look like the colors I used, but it's there. You got to trust me. That's what it's supposed to look like. So I sliced it. Now the question is, if you have your software wirelessly connected to a printer, well, then you can just hit print plate. My, my printer at home is connected wirelessly. So I can make sure that the printer has these colors. Yep, it has a green and it has a yellow and it's connected to yellow. We're good, right? So I can send it. Great. However, if you don't have a wirelessly connected printer, you, by the way, the printers in my classroom are wirelessly connected. So if you don't, you would click here and you would export all sliced file down there and then you would click it and you would have it saved on a on a, a usb drive or on a card and you would just save it there okay so let me cancel that now let me remind you print plate means you're going to send it wirelessly if you're going to save it you have to change oops sorry you have to hit the drop down to change it to what you what you want it to do so you can export all sliced file and then you select it. Don't forget you select it to your USB thing, which I don't have one connected to my computer right now. So in my classroom, if all the printers are busy and you want this printed, you can export this, save it to somewhere on your computer, and then you would use a Google form to upload it there. That way we can print it for you later. Now, those are the very basics of coloring using Bamboo Studio. Now, let's say you want to make some changes. Well, you can just go back to prepare and then you can go back to how you uh, want to design it. However, you want to change that. See, there you go. All right. Hope you like this and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.